talking to Dave Burbank, the public information officer for the Ithaca Fire Department. Dave, what do we have here? At this point, we have three buildings that are fully involved uh, with a working structure fire. The primary building, the first building to be on fire, is located at 435 North Cuga Street. Uh, the fire rapidly spread to a second building at 105 Farm Street, and then uh, the third building involved is 431 North Cuga Street. In terms of an origin of the fire, it's really too early. The investigation starts the moment we get here, but uh, we don't have anything uh, to release yet at this point. Uh, as far as the occupants think, of the building, um, the first the story and the third main story building here is primarily commercial. The uh, Green Star Co-op and the Busy Bee uh, restaurant or diner, I think. Um, the second and third stories of the building are primarily residential. In terms of occupants, uh, the fire department, upon arriving on the scene, did conduct a fairly thorough search of the first and second stories and a somewhat limited search of the third story. The fire grew too fast. And uh, to the best of our knowledge, there's nobody in any of the three buildings. Uh, we've had one injury so far. A firefighter was injured after some sort of phenomena, such as a backdraft or a flashover, occurred in this first building at 435 North Cuga. Um, he was transported to Tompkins Community Hospital, treated, and in fact, he is back working, fighting the fire as we speak. Um, we have fire departments here helping us out. Of course, the Ithaca Fire Department's here. Other departments here are Cuga Heights, Lansing, Barna, Newfield, Danby, Enfield, Trumansburg, Bangs. Ithaca Police Department, of course, is helping, as is the State Police and uh, the Red Cross. As far as occupants of any of the three structures, the Red Cross and the Ithaca Police Department are both working on trying to keep a tally, a running tally of who's supposed to live here and where they are now. And we're going to do our best to account for everybody. And of course, tomorrow we'll be able to put some of the pieces together and tell you what's happened tonight.